It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. In this video, we're going to be talking about a major reveal that came in the premiere of The Ones Who Live regarding Operation Cobalt and how they explained it and also Okafor's key role in that operation. And we're going to make a little bit of speculations as far as how this could tie in with Rick's story going forward. Now, I won't do that video here, but... I will talk a little bit about it at the end, but I will do a separate video talking more about that specifically. So stay tuned. We'll be right back to break this down. All right, as always, before we dive into it, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's dive right into it. Now, of course, one thing I want to mention right off the bat is how awesome Lieutenant Donald Okafor of CRM was and how multi-layered his story was. I mean, in one episode alone, they made this character that had a lot of dimensions to him and he was just a pretty awesome character all around. So it's definitely devastating that he got killed at the end of the episode. But of course, maybe his death will spark something bigger in the story like i said so in that regard it's not too bad because it's pushing the story forward he was definitely an awesome character that i wanted to see survive for much longer but with that said this whole conversation came about with a discussion that rick and donald okafor had and a reveal from okafor himself so obviously Rick went to Okafor because Rick knew that Donald Okafor knows everything about him. So Rick basically went there to get a confession and to kill Donald Okafor. Now what Donald Okafor revealed, which was awesome, is that he was involved in Operation Cobalt, which basically saw destruction and napalm of Atlanta and Los Angeles which we saw in The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead. Now, this is where things get interesting because there was a lot of rumors before that maybe Major General Beale was involved in that, but no, it was Donald Okafor. And Major General Beale is also important in this as well, but we're going to talk a little bit more about that later. But, of course, Donald Okafor was given the order to napalm Atlanta, which he did. Los Angeles, which he did, and was supposed to go through with it and do the same thing in Philadelphia, where the CR currently sits. But he had a change of heart and switched sides. And this is basically where things got really emotional in the episode itself, because the reason why he switched sides was because of what he had to do, because of what it made him become. It made him become this monster who wanted to go through with it and destroy Philadelphia. But of course, Donald Okafor's morals didn't let him continue on, so he killed his wife. But I loved that scene. It was emotional, and I loved everything about it, and I absolutely enjoyed how everything came together and how they explained Donald Okafor's key role in the napalm of Atlanta and Los Angeles. Here's where things get interesting because in the discussion that Major General Beale had with Rick, prior to the apocalypse, he was part of a special team or faction within the U.S. Army in Pennsylvania. And they had decided that they would stop the government and the military from napalming the cities. And they were going to stop them from doing the same thing that they did to Atlanta and Los Angeles in Philadelphia. And that's where he gets into this thing with Okafor and his major role and how he switched sides and everything. So I absolutely loved how all of that came together in a very natural way. And I absolutely enjoyed how they had the twist in the story where we think it's Major General Beale who was really involved at the beginning and had a major role in the military. But no, it was Donald Okafor. So I absolutely loved that aspect of it. But I also loved how emotionally charged that scene was between Donald Okafor and Rick and how they basically used that to hit two birds with one stone. Give us a backstory for Donald Okafor 
and to explain one of the big mysteries of The Walking Dead, which was the napalm of large cities and how that operation came to be and what happened. So all of that was definitely super intriguing and super awesome. And at this point, because of how that whole thing ended and the fact that Donald Okafor couldn't go through with killing Rick, it makes us question whether at the end he was truly a monster or if he had changed. We know that his plan was to change the CRM for the better, to create a rebellion against the CRM and Major General Beale. And as he talked about, have people who were monsters at one point to come together to fight the monsters that are out there. And that's definitely super intriguing. And like I said, it makes you question whether he was beginning to have this change of heart and a moment where he's truly working to make things better, even though he's done some bad things in the past. And this is where it gets interesting as far as Rick's future is concerned. Could Pearl Thorne and Rick Grimes be the faces of a new rebellion against the CRM and Major General Beale? And could Okafor's death push them towards that goal even more and motivate them to go through with that and basically make it happen? Even though Okafor's death wasn't caused by Major General Beale, it could have very well gotten to a point where Major General Beale would have figured out that Okafor was planning this because he obviously talked to Rick about it and it looked like he knew that Donald Okafor was working behind his back. So it was probably just a matter of time before Major General Beale sent people to kill Okafor. But still... Okafor's death could motivate Rick and Pearl Thorne to basically come together and create a rebellion to fight Major General Beale. At this point, we don't know if Major General Beale is a bad person. We know that Okafor says that the CRM are monsters and are doing monstrous things, but we haven't really got a backstory for Beale yet, and we don't know his morals right now. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to go through in this video. I'm definitely interested to know your thoughts and opinions. So share that in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.